With an estimated population of 8 million inhabitants, Togo has chosen, since its independence, to use its privileged geographical position as a coastal country to serve as a bridge between Europe, Asia, America, and landlocked African countries. This strategic choice led the Togolese authorities to provide the country with a deep water port. The laying of the foundation stone was carried out on November the 23rd, 1962, and the inauguration of the port on April 26, 1968. But the significant date in its history remains January 21, 1967, when the port saw its first boat arrive at the quay for the first time, the Bert Hugo Steins. Five decades later, this maritime infrastructure, which has become the arm of the Sahel countries and the only deep water port in the subregion, with a depth of nearly 17 meters, now drains more than 22 million tons of general cargo per year. A strategic place for the development of West Africa, through its human resources and economic potential, the port of Lome is now the driving force behind the economic development of the West African region. It remains not only the country's main channel of trade with the rest of the world, but also contributes to the development of the economies of landlocked countries, such as Burkina Faso, Niger, Mali, Chad, and the Central African Republic, thus confirming its historical vocation as a tool for sub-regional integration. In its continuous quest for optimal quality of service, the port of Lome has recently extended and modernized its infrastructure. Today, in addition to its two moles, its mineral wharf, its oil wharf, and its new fishing port, it offers two large container terminals, all equipped with the latest generation handling equipment. The first, Togo Terminal, is the result of a public-private partnership between the Togolese state and the Bolloré Group. This third quay, 400 meter long and 15 meter deep, brings the total length of Togo Terminal's container quay to 950 meters, in addition to a storage area of more than 36 hectares. The third quay is equipped with four STS quay sides gantries, 12 RTG park gantries, 26 reach stakers, and 46 port tractors. The terminal has a reefer station that can accommodate 772 refrigerated containers, thus ensuring the simultaneous processing of four large capacity vessels. This device will eventually reach a processing capacity of 1,200,000 containers. The second, Lome Container Terminal, is a 16.6 meter deep and 1,050 meter long dock with nine state-of-the-art superposed Panamax STS gantries. Including six gantries with 22 lines and three gantries with 24 lines, 27 RTG earth gantries, four telescopic stacking gantries, nine lifting gantries for the handling of container ships and transshipment, capable of carrying up to 14,500 TEUs with the ambition of reaching a volume of 4,500,000 containers. The LCT terminal has a surface area of 53 hectares and its reefer station can accommodate 1,120 refrigerated containers. Thus, the port of Lome has diversified infrastructures, enabling it to accommodate 15 ships simultaneously. The towing service of the ships is provided by the Boluda Group. The company has three state-of-the-art tugboats with power ranging from 5,000 to 5,700 horsepower. In the continuity of its modernization, the port of Lome has also just acquired a new fishing port equipped with an administrative block, two ice factories, two storage rooms and a landing dock. This new infrastructure, which can accommodate up to 400 pirogues, will allow fishers to increase national production and contribute to the development of the blue economy. Like all its advantages, the main asset of the port of Lome remains the security that reigns within it. And since 2015, the Maritime Zone has been declared a Maritime Prefecture, depository of the State Authority, invested with general responsibility in all areas where the State's action at sea is exercised. The creation of the High Council for the Sea is also in line with the Togolese government's desire to set up a system to better organize and coordinate the services with competence in the maritime sector and to respond to developments in security, environmental and economic matters.
In order to obtain this recognition, Lomé Port Authority and its terminals have each equipped themselves with a scanner and a first-rate security system, in compliance with the International Code for the Safety of Ships and Port Facilities (ISPS code). A method of operating that consists in detecting, preventing and deterring criminal acts that could compromise maritime transport. Thus, the security of people and goods has become the priority of the port, as its trade is associated with the regularity of the transit of goods to landlocked countries. As a result, the construction of new road infrastructure was necessary. The bypass of the city of Lomé, the Agoe interchange, the bypass roads of the Alejo Fault and the Col de Défalé are structures that testify to the will of the Togolese government to make the port of Lomé an essential transshipment port for the West African subregion. Moreover, the creation of a motorway and a 675 km rail network from the port of Lomé to the border with Burkina Faso, with the installation of a dry port, are being considered and are in addition to the other projects concerning the extension of the Lomé Container Terminal Dock, the extension of the Mineral Wharf, the relocation of second-hand vehicle and machine sales activities, in order to free up space for mainly port activities. Beyond the modernization of its port infrastructures, the extension of its container terminals and the reinforcement of its security measures, since 2014 the port has been engaged in a vast process of simplifying its administrative services. Tax collection is handled by banks, online declarations, improved selectivity procedures to speed up the exit of goods, computerization of stores and customs clearance areas, are now facilitated by the single window for foreign trade. This reduces costs, shortens lead times and eliminates incidental costs. This is also a guarantee of competitiveness. Now the leading service and transshipment platform, operating according to the best international standards, it has been certified in three ways since August 2014. ISO 9001 version 2015 for the quality of ship reception services, ISO 14001 version 2015 for the environment, and British Standard OSAS 18001 version 2007 for occupational safety and health, the port of Lomé now has a better quality of service. It can boast of welcoming large tonnage vessels 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Its customer-focused administration also has a dynamic port community and several trade facilitation assets. As defined by the NDP, the National Development Plan, in the long term, the objective of the Lomé Port Authority is to multiply container traffic and make Lomé a logistics hub and a first-class business center.